you like our videos, please like and subscribe. That way this chonky boy can eat more this run. Isn't that right, buddy? God, you even know where the camera is. You're such a little... <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, then please share, comment, subscribe if you do enjoy. And if you're back from the pack, then welcome back. Very much appreciate your continued support. And myself and Jamie. Appreciate it. Today, we have another Mortal Kombat 1 reveal trailer today. This one kind of takes me a bit by surprise, I'm not going to lie. It is the official Keepers of Time trailer. Now, the reason why this is interesting to me is because the thumbnail had Garrus from Mortal Kombat 11. Iris, Kronika's little bitch that he, she sent to go and do things, and who got absolutely bullied and bodied in the story by basically everyone. He had some cool gameplay, but in the story he was really, really misused. Uh, so it's very interesting to see him back, and I wonder if they're actually going to give him some... It's actual meat to work with this time, so... Uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just... I'm curious to see what the hell they're doing with Garrus. So, uh... I mean, let's, let's, let's find out. Let's see. Three, two, one. Let's, uh, let's go. Garrus. My old friend. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. Duty is my highest calling. Oh yeah, they've like completely redone his character, it seems. His gameplay is looking pretty similar though. Showing off more classic sector. Gyrus nice. is the guardian of the hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. Oh. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. Interesting. So we're getting more with the hourglass in this thing? Dude. Yo, it's grappling sick. Oh. Oh, the Darius Oh, shit! I have Yo. watched you with the hourglass. That's sick. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so Garrus can be like Those with power must know how to use it wisely. When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. Okay. Crafting a timeline is a complex endeavor. of peace may already be compromised. Nice! Like to some smoke action too here. Oh! Sick combo. Fuck. 
he created a fucking black hole in the center of the universe. <laughs> and what the fuck? Oh my lord, wow, that is... That's a fucking crazy move. Holy shit. I think that was his fatality. Oh my god. That's wild. I was wondering why the fuck they would bring Garrus, Garrus back, but, uh, you know, that kind of makes sense now. Liu Kang, he kept Garrus around because he knew he was powerful and he would be a good defender of the Hourglass so that nobody, if they did turn evil in his timeline, would ever dare try to attack the Hourglass because Garrus would kick their ass, right? But, I'm guessing, through his time defending the Hourglass, Giris kind of fucking realized what Liu Kang had done by resetting the timeline, and how he tried to neutralize certain characters entirely, and neutralize the sources of evil, like Shang Tsung and shit like that. But clearly it didn't work exactly how he wanted it to. It failed in certain regards. Because there's still, like, shit popping off somehow here. Which then might bring Gears into conflict with Liu Kang over the fact that he shouldn't have fucking tried to eliminate things in the first place. And that he should be impartial and not relish in being a protector of Earthrealm and only Earthrealm, right? Huh. I'm very intrigued. I wasn't entirely sure about them bringing Gears back. Especially because I had seen some, seen some leaked uh, um, roster lists. Which is looking even more likely to be accurate uh, by the day with this shit now. But, uh... I find it particularly interesting that, yeah, they, they chose to bring back Gyrus. So I wonder if they are going to fuck with the timeline again in this one. And if the Hourglass is actually going to be... at threat. Because if they bring, like, a Naga back and shit, like, he could go for the Hourglass. He could absolutely the pow have the power to go back for the Hourglass and shit, so... I'm very curious to see where this is all going. I'm... <clears throat> this is interesting. Gears being an actual combatant in the game is going to be... Fun. His combos looked actually pretty cool. And his like time stop abilities and shit like that, like that's that's but that's some busted ass shit. However, this does beg the question: Are you going to play him in the like main story at all, or are you restricted to playing like Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Kenshi, Raiden, like, and and Gears is going to take more of an antagonistic. I'm not entirely sure. Especially because all the cinematics that they've shown off with Gyrus so far have been him in interactions with Liu Kang. And mostly in that one, and only that one scene, uh, where he goes to that temple and has that discussion with him about how he fucked with the timeline. So... A lot of interesting things. I'm very curious to see where this is all going, and, uh, yeah. Black Hole Fatality is fucking nutty, though. That is, 
like gear assist was cool and all but creating a black hole to rip someone through space and time into absolutely uh, absolute oblivion is just crazy that is an absolutely crazy fatality and uh, I cannot wait to see what other fucking wacky goddamn uh, things that they came up with in this. So, uh, yeah, uh, we are definitely going to be playing a lot of Mortal Kombat on the channel here, so stay tuned. Don't you fucking worry about that. We will be playing a lot of it. We'll be making a lot of content on it. So uh, keep that in mind, and I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, adios, ladies and gents.